What's going on guys? Big Time of Montana here. Today, we're going to be installing MIUI 11 Pi Base ROM on the OnePlus 7 Pro. You're welcome to follow along and if you have any questions, you know where to ask. So with that being said, let's get started guys. So like you can see, uh, this ROM requires a Pi Base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this version of OOS 9.5.13 GMA 21 AA. So I'm gonna link XDA thread so you guys can come and get the same uh, file, which is here. And then um, once we do that, make sure you download it. Download the global version of this one, which is the one I'm downloading as well. So once you have that downloaded, continue with the following steps. So once you have the files downloaded, you see I have here 9513. And then I have uh, a MIUI folder here that I made and I extracted all the files that I need. So they're extracted here. As well as here on the right, I have a USB drive that I'm gonna be using on the OnePlus 7 Pro. And I have the file here. And also make sure you have the latest TWRP because we're going to need that. So let's move on to the following step. And that's installing the Pi Base uh, update or firmware. Okay. So here back at the phone, uh, we're going to install the Pi Base firmware. And uh, we're going to continue with the installation for the MIUI. So let me just show you guys here where I, I have the latest, which is. 10.0.2 GMA 21A. Okay. So once we have that, let me just show you that. Let's just reboot and we're going to go to recovery. Okay, once here, you enter your password and we'll continue. All right, we'll wait. We're gonna swipe here to allow modifications. Then what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna go format data, press yes. All right, we're gonna go back, back again. One more time, then we're going to go, well, before that, let me see, we're in slot B, all right? So remember that. So we're going to go stuff from whatever storage you have it, but I suggest you do uh, use a USB storage. So here, we're going to go and install that firmware plus the latest TWRP. And now we let it do its thing. We'll be back once it finishes, guys. Okay, we're almost done here. So let's just let us do his thing and we'll be back. Okay, so now we're installing the latest TWRP. Same thing. Let's just let us do his thing and we're gonna come back. Okay, once finished. We're not going to reboot. We're not going to do none of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back, back to the main menu. And we're just going to do reboot recovery. Okay. So remember we're in uh, slot B. We want to make sure we're in the slot number A. So reboot recovery. We'll wait till it boots up.
All right. And here, let me just check that we're on A. As you can see, we're on A. So, same thing. What I always do is just format data just so that we don't have any issues, any problems. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. And simply, we're just going to rinse and repeat what we did the first time. So, we're going to go ahead and install off the USB storage. We're going to go and choose that 9.5.13 update. And we're also going to choose the latest TWRP update. And again, we'll just let that, you know, do its thing and, and uh, finish. And we'll be right back once it's done to continue with the installation. Okay, this is almost done. And alternatively, I think you guys could just do, you also use MSN tool just to downgrade to Pi. But then you have to unlock the bootloader and go through the steps of uh, installing TWRP and whatnot. But I'm just trying to make it. I'm just trying to make it more simple, save some steps, and make it easier for us to install it. So now that we're done, what we're going to do, we're going to go back, back all the way to the main menu. Now we're going to do a reboot system. That way we can let it load. We'll go through the settings. I'm not going to log in to my account. I'm just going to go skip, skip, skip everything until you get to the, the be able to get to the main screen and go to the settings and we're going to do the following steps that we need to do in order to continue. So let's wait for that to reboot. Okay, and there we go. Let's wait for that to load. We'll be back once it loads. All right, so now here, I'm just going to start, just agree or disagree, whatever we need to do just to get in to access the settings. We're going to skip that. Yes, continue. Okay. Okay, skip this. Skip that. Skip anyways. I'm going to do next. Next. And next. Okay, once we're here, let's make sure that we're on uh, the update that we need to be on. And we are, 9513. So we're going to click on build number until we get to be developer. You're now a developer. We go to system. We're going to go to developer options. Make sure that you have OEM unlocking on. We have that on. You want to have advanced reboot on. And also we want to have USB debugging. Okay? That's very important for the for our next step. So once you have that, grab your cable. Once you have grab your cable and plug it in. Okay. Alright. So once you have your USB cable connected, make sure you allow USB debugging and you say and you click on the says always allow from this computer and press OK. You're going to see that once we do the command ADB devices. So keep that in mind. All right. So once we have that, we're going to go back to the computer and we're going to go back to those files that we downloaded 
and we'll continue with the tutorial, guys. So let's continue. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to those files you downloaded. Once you extracted those files, you should have these two folders and these this other file here that's a, a Windows batch file. So this is, it says OP7P install. Now, once we do that, we're going to check to see if your computer recognizes your your phone. So what we're going to do is type CMD on that on that window. We're going to do ADB devices. See, mine's attached there, as you can see here. So now we're going to do ADB reboot bootloader. That way it'll take us into fast boot. Now, when you do ADB devices, you should get that little pop-up that says, remember computer allow, so make sure you always you click always allow, okay? So once we do that, you can press enter. Your phone should reboot to, bas to uh, fast boot. And once we're there, your phone should be in fast boot mode right now. And then we're going to do fast boot devices just to make sure that it's still being recognized. So you can see mine's still being recognized. So now that we're there, we're going to go back to this file here. And we should be able to just double click this and everything should start. So you double click it, you get these two options, boot state and fast boot. So what we're going to choose is number two. We have our phone in fast boot mode. Press start, enter, and as you can see, it's doing all the writing into our phone. Okay, we just let it do its thing. Let it finish. It should take a while, so don't worry about it, guys. Just be patient and let it do its thing. It should take a little while, so if you want, you can go get a, something to drink, maybe a bathroom break, and then come back. Okay, so at this point, we need to press any key to continue. And just remember that it's going to erase everything that you have. So make sure you flash or you back up whatever you need to back up first before installing or attempting to install this ROM. So. Now that we're here, we're just going to click any button, and there you go. And at this point, your phone is going to reboot from fast boot. So we're going to see what happens. And at this point, your phone is going to reboot from fast boot. So we're going to see what happens. Okay. The first boot. According to the instructions, it takes about five to ten minutes, or about five minutes, somewhere on that. So we're gonna wait, and we're gonna see what happens. All right, guys, we're gonna come back. All right. Well, that took over ten minutes, guys. And if you're just sitting, waiting, and it looks like it froze. Then it did freeze. So all I did was uh, hold the power button and the volume plus, the volume up together to uh, reboot. And once it rebooted, it looks like it's now actually loading. So we'll give that a little wait and we'll see what happens. So just remember, when you first initially reboot, if it feels or it looks like it froze, give it some time, but don't panic, and then just reboot your phone if it doesn't boot into the ROM itself.
All right. There you go, guys. Mi UI 11 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. So, we'll see you guys in the next video. I'll have a video up with the, the features, what I think about it, what are the bugs, and is it worth being a daily driver for you? Stay tuned. We'll find out. As always, guys, thank you for the feedback, suggestions, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.